of my favorite little characters is a penguin sitting on a nest of rocks. So you'll just need your little sweeper, a piece of watercolor paper, or cardstock if you don't have any, your 2HB pencil. And it's very simple. You start with, shall we do a finger? Let's do a finger drawing. Lightly make a rounded shape. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. It can be skinnier or wider. Then put a smaller shape on top. All along the bottom, what I want you to do before we do anything else, is I want you to put in, pretend they're two feet, but they're not. They're rocks. Now the trick with doing rocks is to make them different sizes, and we have to make them look like She's sitting in a nest of them. So by making a couple big ones like that, the next ones fill in behind them like this, see? Then you can put another one here. You're building it out. But uh, when you get to here, they could come out a little farther, a little wider and then start turning around so it looks like it's behind her. Then you can add as many as you want. Find a nice design. You like these are not eggs, they're just little rocks. Then you can put a few more scattered on the ground because where they nest, there's lots of rocks. Different shape rocks. Mostly round. Hi Musing, there we go. So our penguin is sitting in a nest. Now one of the other things if she's sitting in the nest is some of the rocks will actually be coming into her body. See this? So you want to add the rest of the rocks here coming into her body. Because she's sitting down inside but not on the edge here. These ones are behind her. So let me just uh, put a little bit of shading on a little bit of the rock here. So it looks like she's inside the rock nest. You know, a little shading to all the rocks. I like shading. It's very, very, very encouraging to finding your drawing self because it's easy to do. Give me a little buffer here. These blending sticks or a Q-tip, even your finger, they work great. They just add a little bit of something to your picture. There we go. That's a good beginning for our little penguin. Now, penguins usually have a little bit of a white stomach or white front, so I add that in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Next, we want to add a little wing coming out. They don't have big wings. Their wings are really more like flippers. And the head is going to look over here and it's going to be straight on the top for the beak, round on the bottom. And we're going to put a big eye in with a little eye in the middle like that. You know, I might even add a little mark like that at the edge. Okay, there's our little penguin on a nest. We have to put in next the line that goes straight across. And I'm going to put in two of them. And this is the water. So we'll just sort of come down here on an angle. If you hit a rock, just stop and hop. There we go. This is the water. All we have to do is put some ink on it. I'm going to outline first the small things. This, because I would like to add a little color to this later. But the small things I'm going to outline with my fine tip Sharpie. It's actually a super fine tip. Now I'm going to add a little bit of a zig in there. It's always nice to have a little bit of 
a change up. Now I notice this little arm is right same with the uh, edge of the water so I'm going to bring it past just a little bit. See? Oh that gives me a nice little marking. I could actually make the end of that red or something. You know some penguins have some great colors in them. I better do the same to this one. That's a little thing I've added. I like to add a little zigzag maybe here. Maybe another one in there. And outline here. Okay, so notice I didn't outline here or here. But you'll see how some of the lines I got rid of. And now I do my rocks. Inking is definitely you use finger drawing for the inking. I'm going to use a bigger Sharpie to fill the penguin in. And don't be afraid to turn your paper if you need to. And the sun. There we go. I'm going to add different sun marks today. I'm going to add these little heat lines. Next, before I do my erasing, I take a bigger Sharpie and concentrate around the nest because the sun is here, uh, this part of the picture is going to be darker than the other part of the picture. So I'm going to put a little more sand marks around my rocks. And then as I get farther out, I'll make them lighter. But the high concentration of dots will be right near the bottom of the rocks here. The next step is to take your Sharpie and carefully make the penguin black but leave a little white line between the body and the wing which is right there okay the head everything gets filled in because obviously the head is in the body and I'm turning the paper so that I can keep my pen pointing at the edge that I'm filling in, see? You know, I think I'll get rid of that little thing at the bottom. I don't, don't think that's necessary. You can leave it if you like. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm still going. There we go. This little white mark here, because I think I remember seeing a penguin with a red mark there. There's nothing wrong with trying to be perfect. I've done a few perfect things in my life, and I figure if I got a couple things done that are perfect, I don't have to do any more perfect things. You know, I don't want to use the thick pen here because it, by using the thick pen here, it makes the penguin stand out more. Don't you think? I think so. If I start doing everything in black ink, so what's the advantage of having two pens, a thin one and a thicker one? Now, here comes the best part. I'm going to take this eraser and I'm going to go over everywhere because that pen is dry. That first pen is quite dry. I take my handy brush and we get rid of them. I can't wait to put some color on that. How about you? I think it's really good for you to know that adjustments are not mistakes. When you see something as a mistake, you're generally thinking of getting rid of it because it's wrong. But in most cases, your so-called mistake is leading you closer to what you're looking for. I didn't like this sort of ragged appearance here. So what I'm going to do is just make this white part a little more attractive in shape by making it narrower. What's the advantage of illustrating something simple? Well, when you're just starting out, 
the advantage is you can learn what a clean line is. There are many, many approaches to art. Some are quite complicated and need a lot of skill when it comes to learning about perspective, say blocking in characters, gesture drawing, isometric drawings. There's all kinds of complicated ways to draw, but they're really not complicated. They're just part of the puzzle. So this is for people who are just got the puzzle out of the box and they're going, what do I do? Now I'm going to analyze this a little bit. I see I have some th very thick lines here and thin lines everywhere else. That's what I want. I want to have a contrast of thin lines and heavy lines. Now I could bring this down a little more. See just that little point there, how much of a difference that made. And you know, I might just bring this one right over the little rock so it looks like the rock is behind. A little dot here doesn't hurt for the nose.